namaskaram all of you with uh, grace of uh, pita mahapatri ji and uh, master Pra prabho ji we will begin today's session today we have our speaker master pradeep anirudh speaking on topic bhagavad gita he worked in premier mnc software companies like serenova silverline technologies the then top 10 software companies cognizant india and cognizant america he had won several performance and quality awards initiated first knowledge sharing sessions of cognizant hyderabad he worked in various roles as lead designer and programmer in the phases of development design application maintenance and testing on windows unix linux and stratus vos platforms he worked for clients such as world bank american express jpmc merits etc at india and united states he educated from jawaharlal nehru technology university kukatpally campus hyderabad he studied law in libra law college hn bahuguna central university nalsar university of law hyderabad we can see his writings and uh, in his blog spot enlightenment.blogspot.in he has many software certifications he is a sun certified enterprise architect java programmer ibm certified business process analyst ibm certified service oriented architecture associate ibm certified in db2 8.1 db29 rad6 red hat certified engineer and holds 20 plus such software certifications he is now taking care of pmc english channel he started this under the guidance of brahmarshi pitamaha patri ji he has read several spiritual books and attended sessions of several spiritual scientists he experimented on several meditation technologies he had done several sittings of continuous 10 hours of meditation he is teaching meditation with a fervor towards society transformation he has touched more than 10 lakh people through meditation he ran two free community meditation centers one dedicated to training youth on job and life skill he trained students and several corporate employee in essenture megasoft ncr itc sql star vertisa sera atlanta wipro midhani usha fans company natco pharma jntu hyderabad osmani university hyderabad vignan university icfai university dehradun police departments and so on on varied subjects stress management and science of meditation his role in uh, pyramid youth masters association he was given an opportunity by patri ji sir as all india paima president under his presidentship pyramid young masters association has flourished into greater teams with thousands of youngsters getting benefited through meditation and positive transformation he had transformed himself into vegetarian and inspired many he has designed and made the first ever lightweight 700 vegetarian placards in six different languages which were used in multiple vegetarian rallies across four states he has coordinated many vegetarian rallies spiritual science workshops and treks he conducted is he conceived and organized numerous deep spiritual science workshops and forest treks on topics ranging from dreams and astral projection emotional intelligence extrasensory per, uh, perception called as esp buddha's teaching and enlightenment awareness on awareness etc we are very fortunate to have such a great master with so much of varied experience to share his wisdom on bhagavad gita 
वेलकम सर थैंक यू बाती मैडम फॉर योर वंडरफुल इंट्रोडक्शन थैंक यू सो मच friends today we are going to discuss about bhagavad gita bhagavad gita gita means there are two meanings for gita bhagavad you know that bhagavad means god and gita means one song one meaning is song another meaning is a line a line where it gives us an awareness to what level we can go to what boundary we can think to what limit we can think it also gives an awareness of our limited nature and lim limitless nature both the things both the limited nature and the limitless nature so bhagavad gita is considered to be giving us awareness about our own nature why we behave the way we behave and why what happens to us is happening to us what could be the reason and what is the source of it and it also answers the question what people or sages have been having from generations together every human being who is born on this earth planet has a question to know their real self to know who they really are that is the question which is evading so many people and that is the question which every seer and a sage is seeking every seeker is seeking this question and then once they know who they really are then they have become the seers and sages and saints what we know bhagavad gita is an epitome of wisdom on this earth planet about the real nature of a human being and the nature of the world it also talks about karma as to how one has to do their daily actions as to one has as to how one has to live in action and also in inaction so it is lot of wisdom it's also called as celestial song so that celestial song is bhagavad gita a song when you hear a good song when you hear it will lift your spirits it may give guidance it may help you to go inside it may give you to give you clarity to live outside that is what happened to the great man gandhi ji gandhi ji who has taken a biggest responsibility in the world to get independence for india he used to tell that it, any problem that i get in any part of the day any problem that i have to deal with then i go back to bhagavad gita i open a page and then i find a solution he clearly told whatever problem he used to get the solution he banged on bhagavad gita he banged on the wisdom that he got from bhagavad gita and he used to open the book and he used to get the answer a great man who has shown to the world that independence can be achieved through the values of truth and non violence this is not ordinary this is an extraordinary achievement in the course of human history to get independence with the value of truth and non violence although there may be several situations which might have pushed british to give independence on that time but yet there is one man who has stood for the value of truth and non violence and who has cherished and banged on bhagavad gita for his day to day wisdom for his day to day handling of problems 
So if a man like Gandhi ji can rely on Bhagavad Gita for its wisdom, so any other man who is dealing with real time situations in life can bank on Bhagavad Gita. This is one thing. And the other thing, Swami Vivekananda, he told, every man should learn Sanskrit. Every man on human planet, on earth planet, must learn Sanskrit. And every person who learns Sanskrit must learn Bhagavad Gita, must live the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita. That is what Swami Vivekananda has told. Even in my own spiritual journey, reading Bhagavad Gita or knowing about Bhagavad Gita has transformed my life, has given a new way, a new perspective to my life. It is not just reading, my dear friends, it is not just knowing, but what my experience is, See, I have read multiple Bhagavad Gita's. I may have at least collection of 25 different Bhagavad Gita's at my home. 25 or even more. Every author has given a different perspective. Not everyone's perspective is the same. See, it is the same 700 shlokas. It is the same 18 chapters of Bhagavad Gita. Yet, every author has given their perspective based on their enlightenment based on their level of enlightenment. If you see Paramahamsa Yogananda's explanation, it might be different than Iskon's explanation. So every person who has given the explanation of Bhagavad Gita has given varied explanations. Yet it depends on that person to realize what is the real gist of it, what is the real wisdom in it. What is the underlying wisdom in it? It is not something to just read and forget. It is something to live. So how would you realize it? So my meditation has helped me to know the answers. From within, my meditation has helped me to live the wisdom of the shlokas. So my meditation has helped me to understand the real wisdom behind it. It may seem, the shlokas may seem good. If you listen or read, it, it may make you feel good, but yet only after you meditate, only after you meditate deeply, will you be able to understand the real essence of it. So that had been my experience. And when you do Gudakesha, when you do intense meditation, then you will get an intense understanding of Bhagavad Gita. Without meditation, there is no use of reading Bhagavad Gita. It will just become Pukita Purana. Means you just tell it, that's all. You listen it, that's all. There is no transformation. So Bhagavad Gita, in order to understand Bhagavad Gita, you need to meditate, meditate intensely and then you will be able to get the essence of it. See, Bhagavad Gita, although everyone knows that Kishanji or Lord Krishna has told Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna at the time of war. In the Kurukshetra war, he has told it. But my dear friends, let's go to the background of it. Let's go to the source of it. If we have to know the source of Bhagavad Gita, we need to know the first ever documented thought by a human being in the world. Does anyone know what is the first ever documented human thought in the course of human history? Guinness Book Record also validated this. If anyone knows this, I want you to please type it in the chat box. If anyone knows this, knows this, please type it. I'll give 30 seconds. Okay. So the first ever documented human thought is Rugveda. 
ಓ ವಾವ್ ಶರಣಮ್ಮ ವಿ ಕೆ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಋಗ್ವೇದ ಋಗ್ವೇದ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಎಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ರೈಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ದೇರ್ಸ್ ಎ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಹೂ ಲೆಟರ್ ಆನ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದಯಾನಂದ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಹೀ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಾಯ್ his father was a great shiv bhakt he is a great devotee of lord shiva so on the auspicious occasion of shivaratri his father was singing praises of lord shiva his father was telling the shiv purana and he told that shiva is great he is a great god he is lord of lords so he has been telling all this and then this little boy saw that that a small rat moving on the statue of lord shiva so this little boy has got a doubt what is this my father was telling that shiva is great shiva is powerful shiva is very potent but he is not even able to get the rat out of his body out of his statue how can he be powerful and then he asked the same doubt to his father father you said shiva is so powerful and potent and but now he is not even able to make the rat go away from him so his father gave an answer yet this boy did not get satisfied this boy still got doubts what is this why god doesn't have power to even get the rat away from his own statue if he is a great god who is god who are we so he got so many questions from there on that is the starting point every spiritual journey every seeker's journey has some starting point and that was the starting point of that boy's journey spiritual journey and he went on he read all the puranas upapuranas and he went to every ascetic every sage and saint and started learning to every spiritual practitioner and started learning and then he finally chanced upon vedas his journey ended with knowing the wisdom learning the wisdom of vedas so my dear friends some people say vedas is the source of all the wisdom in the world vedas is the source of all the wisdom that is ever there or that is ever going to be there in the world some people say even swami vivekananda says he says a beautiful sentence which make which made me wonder the power of vedas he says if vedas is a roaring sound then your modern science is just a small echo vedalu polikeka aithe dani yokka ati chinna pratidhvani maatrame mi yokka navina vignana shastram if vedas is a roaring sound a great roaring sound then our modern science is just a small echo small echo of vedas that is the power of vedas that much comprehensive wisdom vedas has got that is what he has told that made me wonder he is such a learned educated man who inspired the world and when he has said that i thought there must be something in vedas and then i started exploring vedas there are four vedas rigveda yajurveda samaveda adharveda and there are four parts in vedas aranyakas brahmanikas brahmanas samhitas and then upanishads upanishad is the last part of vedas it is also called as the gnana khanda of vedas it is the wisdom part of the vedas so now there are around 108 upanishads that are available to us it was told that there used to be more than 1080 upanishads that used to be there earlier so which is not written anywhere this wisdom used to pass from generation to generation family to family 
and these two, these people used to safeguard that wisdom when india was under foreign rule the rulers the foreign rulers were so interested in the wisdom that they researched on it and they found so much wisdom is what people tell but now we have only 108 upanishads that are available we used to have more than 1080 upanishads earlier so these families the family who used to safeguard two vedas those family were called as dvivedis dvivedi means the family who is safeguarding two vedas and then we used to have trivedi trivedi means the family who is to safeguard three vedas the wisdom of three vedas and their relevant upanishads and you, we also have got chaturvedis see chaturvedi the family who is to safeguard four vedas but in the meantime those things have changed those are not the same people who are safeguarding this vedas yet we have some wisdom of it not all of it we have only a pinch of it now what is available in the world now so veda vyasa bhagwan when writing mahabharata or lord krishna while inspiring arjuna to take his bow and go for the battle so through lord krishna arjuna received the essence of vedas as bhagavad gita so bhagavad gita is the essence of all the vedas vedas is complex for a normal man to understand for a normal family man to understand who is in day to day family affairs and regular affairs who is in the gruhastha dharma who is in the worldly duties it is not an easy affair to understand vedas so lord krishna has given the essence of vedas to arjuna in those 18 chapters the whole essence of all the vedas is there is present in bhagavad gita so this, this is the source of wisdom of bhagavad gita whatever is there in the vedas the whole essence is there in bhagavad gita my dear friends even the message of swami vivekananda there are so many people who got inspired there are so many people who were facing so many challenges in life when they wanted to end their life they saw the teachings of swami vivekananda and then their life has turned in a different way they got interested in life they knew what was life and then they got fearless and then they started living their life successfully so such were the power behind the teaching of swami vivekananda and that power he has drawn from the teachings of upanishads and bhagavad gita indeed i remember one statement by swami vivekananda when he told he said whenever i see any page in vedas every page talks to me and gives the message of abhi 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 means who does not have bhiti who does not have bhai who does not have fear so he said every page in vedas gives me the message of abhi abhi means fearlessness he also said if i have to give the message of my life to the world then it will be fearlessness a one word message of swami vivekananda's life to the world is fearlessness and that is the same message of vedas a person who has understood vedas who has read vedas who has realized the wisdom of vedas will take the same message of fearlessness so dayananda saraswati as a little boy after he has started his journey to know who is god to know who i am to know the secrets of existence and creation so he finally rested on the wisdom of vedas he finally found his answers and the essence of all those vedas is 
भगवद गीता स्वामी विवेकानंद आई यूज टू रीड वेन आई वॉज ए चाइल्ड सो ही हैज टोल्ड वन पावर स्टेटमेंट ए ब्यूटिफुल स्टेटमेंट ही सेड स्ट्रेंथ इज लाइफ वीकनेस इज डेथ स्ट्रेंथ इज लाइफ वीकनेस इज डेथ I was so mesmerized by this statement. I thought, "Wow, what a statement! What a powerful statement!" I was so surprised. I was so surprised as to where he has got to know this wisdom. Strength is life. Weakness is death. How could he have? got this wisdom so if you are weak if you are covered it is as good as you have died it is as good as death covered and weakness is as good as death and your strength is life you living with inner strength is life you losing your inner strength and feeling weak it is as good as dead so he has told the significance of inner strength and then i found a shloka in bhagavad gita which says klaibyam masmagamah parda na etat tvai upapadyate hrudaya daurbhalyam tyatva uttishta parampara shudram hrudaya daurbhalyam त्यक्तो उत्तिष्ट परंपरा सो क्लाइबियम मास्म गम सो यूनिट टू लीव द कवर्ड आइस यूनिट टू लीव द वीकनेस दट इज अ क्लियर स्टेटमेंट इन भगवदगीता इन सेकेंड चैप्टर क्लाइबियम मास्म गम पार्द न एक तत्व उपपद्य हृदय दौर्बल्यम त्यक्त्व उत्तिष्ट परंतपा hrudaya dhaurbalyam don't feel that weak weakness in your heart don't feel cowardice in your heart that is kshudram that's not good that's not divine it's demonic to feel less about you to feel weak about yourself to feel cowardice in your heart such a clear statement such a power, power statement klaibyam masma gamah you need to leave your covered eyes so this is where he has got that statement is what it occurred to me but it is not just this statement all that is there in bhagavad gita it gives you such fearlessness it gives you the wisdom of real you not the periphery you it gives the real wisdom of you as to who you really are it lets you know who you really are it lets you know that you are not just limited to this body but you are that soul who is eternal and permanent नयनम छिंदी शस्त्रा नयनम दहति पावक न चैनम खेदयंते अपो न शोषयति मारुत दिस इज वन मोर श्लोक विच टेल्स अबउट द नेचर ऑफ रियल यू नयनम छिंदी शस्त्रा यू आर नॉट डिस्ट्रक्टबल बै एनी वेपन ओनली युअर बॉडी इज डिस्ट्रक्टबल नयनम छिंदी शस्त्रा नयनम दहति पावक यू कैनाट बी बर्ट बै फायर न चैनम क्लेदयंती आपो न शोषयति मारुत यू कैनाट बी ड्रेंस्ड बै वाटर न शोषयति मारुत यू कैनाट बी ड्राइड बै एयर ओनली युअर बॉडी कैन बी ड्रेंस एंड इट कैन बी ट्राइड बै एयर युअर बॉडी कैन बी ड्रेंस्ड बै वाटर एंड कैन बी ड्राइड बै एयर बट नॉट यू यू कैनाट बी किल्ड बै बै वेपन यू कैनाट बी बर्ट बै फायर यू कैनाट बी ड्रेंस्ड बै वाटर you cannot be dried up by air 
you or that. But body is being killed. Body can be burnt. Body can be drenched and can be dried. But you are not the body. It's a clear message to the real nature of ourselves. A very clear message. You are not limited to this body. You are someone who is living in this body, who is residing in this body, but you are not the body. You are someone who cannot be ever killed by a weapon. If you can understand this statement, if you can realize the power of this statement, then you will never be fearful, my dear friends. It is not just one statement that Klaibyam Masma Gamaha Kshudram Rudeda or Valyam. Leave cowardice and weakness from your heart. Know that you are a soul. You are not limited to this body. You are beyond this body. If anyone realizes this, imagine the kind of power they would feel in their heart. He also further told the real nature of us in many shlokas, not just one. Every shloka, you can just draw some unlimited power inside you. It gives you unlimited strength beyond, that would last beyond a lifetime. It, is, it seems to be a powerhouse. Every shloka in Bhagavad Gita seems to be a powerhouse. If you can really understand the wisdom of it and meditate on it, and then man, you cannot imagine the power you can draw from it. He says in one shloka, Na jayate amriyate va kada chinnayam bhutva bhavita va na bhuyaha ajo nitya shashvatoyam Purano na hanjate hanyamane sharire In that he says, na jayate amriyate va you do not have birth. You do not have death. Kada chinnayam bhutva bhavita va na bhuyaha. You have lived in the past, you are going to live in the future too. He is not referring to that past where you have lived yesterday and the day before or the month before or the year before. He is referring to such past where you have lived even before you have existed in this physical body, even before you have taken birth with this physical body, you have existed before and you have lived before. That is what he was referring to. Kada chinnayam bhutva bhavita va na bhuyaha. So you will live in the future too. Not just tomorrow and the year before, year after. But you will live in the future even after you leave this physical body, even after your physical body death has arrived, you will still continue to live. What a beautiful statement of your real nature. Ajo nitya shashvatoyam. Ajo means atma, the soul. It is nitya and shashvatoyam. It is permanent and eternal. So you are that soul which is permanent and eternal. Purano. See, this simple word Purano, if you are going to realize the power of it, you can talk about it for three days. Just the word Purano. The selection of every word is so divine, so celestial, so deep. If you have the will to see the depth of it. Purano means it is ancient. You are ancient. You are such ancient that you have existed even before the creation is created. Please attentively listen to it. You are that ancient that you have existed even before the creation got created. So who will exist even before the creation got created? Only the creator will exist. Correct? So you are that creator who has created the entire creation. He is talking about that level of human consciousness, that level of divine consciousness, that you have a possibility of being a creator who has created this entire creation and you have been there from that time onwards. 
he's also hinting at the possibility of sarvagnata omniscience see if you have been living in a place called hyderabad for many many years then you would know about hyderabad many things correct or most of the things at least in the street that you live you will know everything about your street or about your village how many lanes it has got how many ponds it has got how many houses it may have got correct if you are living there for many many years the same way if you are the creator who has created this creation if you are if you can get into that level of understanding and consciousness then you would know the secrets of the creation all the secrets of the creation because you are the creator who has created this creation and you have been present all this time just this one statement purano if you can meditate on it you can realize so many deeper secrets just one word purano it can ignite so many realizations inside you ajo nitya shashvatoyam purano na hanyate hanyamane sharire na hanyate hanyamane sharire only your body is perishable my dear friends ajo nitya shashvatoyam you are eternal you are permanent ajo ajo means in sanskrit it is atma or the soul you as a soul is eternal and permanent and you are also ancient purano na hanyate hanyamane sharire only your body is destructible the real you is never destructible the real you is always eternal always permanent it is always there if you can ground yourself on this wisdom if you can realize this wisdom at least a pinch of it life will be amazing you will get out of suffering you will not be bogged down by the daily problems of life you will get the big picture of life you will get the big picture of your existence as someone who is beyond one life who is there for several lifetimes and can be there for several lifetimes if they choose to the problems and issues you may be facing of this lifetime will become so less your perspective on the problems will become will change your perspective will change the problems will become less in your mind you may have to deal with your regular problems still but the perspective has changed the problems also will get transformed your mother in law is scolding you your partner is not respecting you your children are not listen, not listening to your word you have some challenges at your job whatever it might be just one lifetime learnings you have lived so many lifetimes this is just one lifetime and a small situation your perspective will change when you see the big picture when you know that you are a karodpati you wouldn't mind if you lose 100 rupees correct you can think okay i will improve my awareness that's all but there will not be suffering but if you know you only have 500 rupees as your entire life sa- saving you only have possibility of having 500 rupees and then you lose 100 rupees then it will be a big problem it may create great suffering correct so if you think there's only one lifetime then it seems a problem every situation in the life seems to be a problem you'll give so much significance and prominence to e- every problem it may create havoc inside but when you know that you have lived so many hundreds of lifetimes and you have a choice to live further lifetimes if you choose to then you will take it easily you will take the problems and issues of your life so easily and so joyfully that there will be so much ease inside your heart and being when there is ease there will be no dis ease 
Please listen. When there is ease, there will be no dis-ease. People are having diseases because they are not easy with something. They are not easy with life. They are not easy with the issues that they are facing in life. They are not easy with the problems that they are facing in life. There is no ease because they are thinking that they only have one lifetime and these issues and problems are bogging them down. They are not easy with those things. But once you ground in the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita, once you ground in your real nature, that you are eternal and permanent and have been living through many, many lifetimes, then there will be a new beginning where you'll feel easy with everything. Easy with anything and everything that may happen. That ease will come, that grace will come. Such is the possibility of realizing the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita, my dear friends. And Krishna, Lord Krishna has clearly told Bhagavad Gita to whom he said Ahamatma Gudakesha Ahamatma Gudakesha he said I am the soul I am that soul which is eternal and permanent but whom he is, is he telling this to he is telling this to Gudakesha Ahamatma Gudakesha he is referring to Arjuna as Gudakesha someone who has conquered sleep Gudakesha means a yogi who does not sleep when the world sleeps, who meditates throughout the night, who has conquered their sleep, who has transformed their sleep into meditation. So he has the eligibility, he has the right to get the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita. And he can get the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita, who is a good Akesh. So he is clearly telling it. Aham Atma Gudakesha Sarabhuta Shayastitaha Aham Adishcha Madhyamcha Bhuta Vam Anta Evacha. So he's telling Aham Atma Gudakesha, I am that soul. My dear Gudakesha Arjuna, I am that soul. Sarabhuta Shayastitaha. So I am there in every living being as a soul. Aham Adishcha Madhyamcha Bhuta Vam. Anta Evacha. So I am there in the beginning. I am there in the middle. I am there in the end of everything. Everything that gets created ever. I am there in the beginning, in the middle and the end. Aham Atma Gudakesha. This is another power word. So he's telling what kind of person would realize this wisdom. A Gudakesha will re realize. Only in your intense meditation will you be able to realize the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita. Only in your intense meditation will you be able to live the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita. Only in your intense meditation will you be able to realize the power of Bhagavad Gita. And that intense meditation he's telling you need to be a Gudakesha in order to realize the power that is lying in this celestial song called Bhagavad Gita. Aham Atma Gudakesha. A Gudakesha has the right of passage into the wisdom world of Bhagavad Gita. And congratulations to all the Gudakeshas here who are in, the, in their own yogic journey. You have every right to grab the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita, to live the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita, to feel the power igniting inside you by the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita. You have every right, my dear friends. Congratulations. Only in your intense meditation will you be able to realize the power of Bhagavad Gita. It has the power, but only in your intense meditation will you be able to awaken the power that is there in Bhagavad Gita, inside your being. And then it will become your fragrance. You will, you will carry that fragrance of Atma Gnan and Brahma Gnan.
and he is telling he is clearly telling tasmad yogi bhavarjuna tasmad yogi bhavarjuna you should not delay you need to become a yogi immediately tasmat yogi bhavarjuna you should not delay a minute a second tasmat immediately you need to become a yogi who is a yogi who does not sleep in the night when the world sleeps he does not sleep he is awake that person is called a yogi and that person is guda kesha tasmat yogi bhavarjuna if you have not yet become a yogi this is the time this is the auspicious time to become a yogi you become a yogi immediately this is the message of bhagavad gita only when you become a yogi only when you become a guda kesha will you be able to imbibe the wisdom of bhagavad gita will you be able to imbibe the power of the wisdom of bhagavad gita inside you tasmat yogi bhavarjuna this is an invitation to all the human beings to become a yogi to do meditation throughout the night to ignite the possibility of guda kesha inside them we have great many examples of these yogis we have krishna we have arjuna we have hanuman the great guda kesha master we have adi yogi shiva who is another great guda kesha master lord shiva is still meditating meditating as guda kesha lord hanuman is still meditating in himalayas as guda kesha so i congratulate all of you for having chosen this possibility to live as guda kesha to live as yogi in this world see if there are two choices for any person either you live as yogi or you live as rogi rogi means one who is deceased yogi means one who is with yogam or vaibhogam so if you have a if you live as a yogi then you have excluded the possibility you have thrown away the possibility of being a rogi you have two possibilities every man and woman has two possibilities in front of them either they can live as a rogi or a yogi if you are not a yogi then you are a rogi if you choose not to become a rogi then you can choose to be a yogi you can become a yogi that is what he is telling tasmat yogi bhavarjuna immediately become a yogi do not delay sit all through the night and meditate be a guda kesha be a yogi get into the yogic lifestyle not to the ro- rogi lifestyle own up a lifestyle of a yogi not the don't do not own up the lifestyle of a rogi and sleep own up the lifestyle of a yogi and keep meditating throughout the night and convert your meditation into convert your sleep into meditation this is another powerful message of bhagavad gita he has also told so many things about karma yogastha kuru karmane do your karma in the state of yoga karmanye vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana you have right only to the karma only to the action not to the fruit of it so many students feel anxiety before exams because they are thinking about the result and their mind energy is consumed by the fear of the result what may happen will he get the same question what he has studied or not what will their parents think what if he fails will he be approved by everyone will he be scolded by everyone so they are thinking about the result and their mind energy is consumed they are not able to properly concentrate because they are thinking about the result people do not become successful because they are thinking more about the result and they are spending less time on the action people feel stressed people feel anxious the reason of this stress and anxiety and depression in the entire world can be driven away if one understands this one sentence karmanye vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana you have right only to the action not to the fruit of it if you live see you can plan 
you can think of it you can create it you can intend it and then keep working on your action that's all you do not have to think about the result again and again and feel anxious and stressful and one would get depressed if they do not get the result what they have expected out of life out of your partner or out of your work the entire cause of stress depression and anxiety in the entire world can be removed just by making one realize the wisdom in this one statement yogastha kuru karmani karmanye vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachara you do have pride only to the action and not to the result of it not to the fruit of your action the fruit of your action lies with the god you can do a bhagavad samarpana of your result you keep giving your 100% to your action that is the message of bhagavad gita for karma yoga my dear friends there are so many things so many wonderful wisdoms ashochya nano shochastvam pragna vadansha bhashase gatasun agatasun cha nano shochanti pandita na anushochanti pandita ashochya nano shochastvam when arjuna has thrown away his bow and arrow and said i'm not going to fight my relatives rather i would beg then krishna says ashochya nano shochastvam you are crying for something that need not be cried for you are worrying for something that need not be worried for ashochyan anushochastvam pragna vadanscha bhashase and then you are thinking that you are speaking with wisdom so he's calling him pragna vadanscha bhase bhashase gata asun agata asunscha na anushochanti pandita gata asun gata means past the people who have existed in the past agata means people who are in the present who so the people who are living and who are not living who are dead by now by body gata sun agata sunscha na anushochanti pandita so be like someone who does not weep and cry and worry on the people who are living or about the people who have left their bodies be like that atmagnana pandita do not be a atmagnana pamara that is what he is telling do not cry do not weep do not worry don't get into grief or sadness by anyone in the world either living or non living no be with that kind of soul wisdom a very clear message to arjuna by bhagavad gita there are so many such beautiful shlokas with very deep wisdom which you would realize in the course of your meditation not just by reading to it or not just by listening to it but by the way of your gudakesha practice sadhana you will realize the wisdom of bhagavad gita and i wish you a very wonderful realization of bhagavad gita in your lives and may you live the wisdom of bhagavad gita and let the fragrance of your imbibed wisdom add beauty and color to the people around you thank you so much thank you to our grand master prabodh achyuta ji and dr brahmarshi pitamha patri ji and all the gudakesha leadership team and the organizers team thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity to share my thoughts on bhagavad gita which i like the most with all of you today thank you thank you so much i can take few questions if you wish to you can raise your hand and ask or you can raise your hand and share any of your realizations for the fellow travelers yes masters this is wonderful opportunity to interact with master pradeep uh sir uh, i have a i have to share something smita yep, please, please. 
so I started my journey with PSSM in 2020. And uh, I must say that uh, the very first thing that came into my life was Bhagavad Gita as soon as I started meditating. So I can, uh, I can, sh- I think I share your passion with respect to Bhagavad Gita. And um, I think it's just years of some sadhana in my past life that I got the satsang of Bhagavad Gita in my life. So um, after it came, it was like some beautiful secret uh, that really got revealed to me. Um, Although technically I have read spiritual books and uh, knew that I'm a soul intellectually and all that, but then the words of Krishna really touched my heart and um, it, it, it's like so beautiful, so beautiful. I cannot say that how beautifully in the last two years I've transformed my life and implemented the teachings of Bhagavad Gita in my Karma Yoga. And uh, I have seen a lot and lot of improvement because of that. So it is very, very true that uh, uh, meditation is what brought Bhagavad Gita into my life. And meditation is what helped me understand the essence of it. Meditation, the energy of meditation is what helped me um, also implement it and also realize that I'm implementing and can be consistent with it. So, and also got Guda Kesha because of that and, and continuing Guda Kesha also because of that. <laughs> Wonderful, madam. Wonderful. So nice. Thank you, Thank you for sharing. Anyone else, Masters? So let us clap for a wonderful sharing of Master Pradeep for his time. We are very thankful, sir, to you and uh, lots of gratitude to all the organizing team, front end, back end, everyone to all the seen and unseen masters behind all this. And uh, special thank you to our Pita Mahapatri ji, sir, Grand Master Prabhupada ji, and to you, sir. We are very thankful. Thank you so much. Masters, if you don't have any questions, we are ending the sessions now. You will get one minute to ask any questions or else we are... uh, ending the session. We'll see you tomorrow for many other wisdom sharing sessions. Let us do a one minute meditation and end this session. Madam, I just want to add one more uh, sentence to what Smita ji has shared. As she said that she has realized the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita by her meditation. See, there is one statement, a beautiful statement in Bhagavad Gita, which says Sarva Dharman Parityaja Maam Ekam Sharanam Raja a person who does not meditate would think, Sarva Dharman Parityajya, Maam Ekam Sharnam Raja. You have to leave all dharma and seek refuge only in me. One may think that it is Krishna. One has to seek refuge in the consciousness of Krishna. Few people say Krishna is supreme consciousness and one has to seek refuge. But when you meditate, you will understand that Lord Krishna is not telling to seek refuge in Lord Krishna, but in that Supreme consciousness of you, you yourself, seek refuge in the real nature of you, seek refuge in the higher consciousness of you. One would understand this by their meditation. One, otherwise, if people doesn't have meditation, they think one has to leave Hanuman, one has to leave Santoshima, one has to leave Durgama, one has to leave uh, other religion or other God and seek refuge only in Krishna. No, it is not that. So when you meditate, you understand that you know it is you yourself. It is in the real nature of you, in the higher consciousness of you, that you need to seek refuge. So there are so many such shlokas which one would realize the power of them, the wisdom of them by our own meditation. So that's what I wanted to add. Thank you so much, madam. Yeah, Tejal Ji. There's a hand Uh, raised, sir. Yes. Can I just add uh, one thing to what you said, Sadiq, sir? So when you said that, uh, I realized that it's not Krishna, the, the form... Uh, and it, it was it is more than that it is more of krishna consciousness the one who's in the seven who's in that kind of a dimension uh, consciousness mm-hmm. so it is true because uh, even before that it was majorly 
there was a lot of confusion about uh, God and things like that. But then once I came into meditation, once I understood uh, the new energy concept, once I understood a lot of books, once I read a lot of books and then connected the dots, connected about, connected the, the levels of meditation, the, le- the understanding of dimensions and consciousness and also understand Bhagavad Gita separately and then understand the concept of masters separately, understand the concept of soul moving to that state and then talking, uh, rather coming from that state and of consciousness and talking. So I connected all of these dots and I was able to understand it is, it, we are all gods. And then we are here in the journey to realize the Krishna consciousness state. So it is not Krishna as a person that has to be worshipped. It is more of that message that has to be uh, imbibed into us to understand that we'll have to get there. They are all striving to help us get there. And uh, it is our duty to get there. Yeah. Yes, madam. Wonderful. It's, uh, thank you for sharing your journey with all of us today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and before we take further questions, uh, I just want to invite everyone to Prabodh sir in-person live workshops that are, that are going to be held at Chandrapur. It's a beautiful giant temple in Bhadravati near Chandrapur that is going to happen in this weekend. And next weekend, it is going to ha- happen at the powerful Dattakshetram, Ganagapur. That is going to be in Telugu and Kannada. And the workshop in Bhadravati near Chandrapur is going to happen in Hindi. It's a beautiful opportunity to be in the divine presence of our Grandmaster Prabhuji and in the presence of in the divine presence of so many Gudakeshas who are coming across India. Yeah. So please see that either you come or you can recommend to your friends and family to come there and experience that uh, meditation and wonderful activities there. And if you have any enemies, please refer them compulsorily because that is a chance for transformation of their inner nature. That is going to be a chance for transformation for their inner, inner nature. So please refer as many people as possible to those workshops. And then you would have contributed to their transformation. And please do take this as seriously and do send your close ones, your friends and family. Thank you so much. Yeah, Tejalji. Hi. Hello, sir. Hello, madam. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, the session, what you have shared today, even I would like to have, like, you know, uh, from Gita, being a, uh, uh, like, you know, it is not I'm seeing as in a religion passion, but the culture, what I was, uh, um, you know, brought up in the Jainism, and I was not aware about much of the Gita part of it. As in a, uh, book but the thing when I was I came to the PSSM and uh, you know uh, listening to different different uh, PSSM masters and amazingly as I've uh, already uh, earlier also I've shared like you know we do follow Ranjan sir also and now uh, uh, every morning we do the Gita again uh, Sajan Sangatya so from there actually I got the zest of it and the way today you have explained because I even you are a master like you know we can get the Gita Gyan from you and that's how it actually made uh, to understand that uh, there is the mana mana se upar you have the buddhi and the atma and the, how you can reach the parachetana and always to be in a drasta mode always to be an observer mode always to be in a sakshi mode and not the doer mode so that was the actually the thing that where you can cut down your ego and it helped me a lot it made me you know transforming in uh, each and every thought or activity of the day to day daily life and uh, the sentence though i mean do not pronounce a correct shloka maybe but i had uh, taken from gita and earlier yes i used to take krishna as a person but laterly when i like gita thoroughly and we are doing uh, everyday discussions and sajan sangatya i actually was able to understand that krishna is the con- 
consciousness and it is not a person it's a wisdom it's a chetana it's a para chetana and we have to be like you know uh, when it is said that a tree uh, normally in the world we when we say the trees are uh, 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 branches on the upper side and the roots are at the down side but in the gita it has been shown like you know your roots it has to grow to the uh, you know towards your chetana towards your higher self and uh, shaka the branches it goes to the ground so equally you have to treat them but the thing is you should go towards your root should go to meet your chetana so these are the very uh, uh, i know what do you say a brief thing but uh, it has been explained so nicely so nicely if you follow continuously read uh, different different versions but pick up the correct versions and you know implement it and the way you have explained i can totally i was able to relate it i was able to understand it so thank you to patri ji and thank you to grandmaster prabhu ji because of the good akesha i am able to do the entire day i am i am busy with something or either but night yes i do either i do the dhyana either i do create something i do write something or i do read something or something so that time now my good akesha time has been turned like you know of course the dhyana i do but with that uh, other the spiritual activities also i can put my time and the freshness uh, i say again and again i share to everyone that please do not miss the chance to go for the physical workshop of good akesha i was in lonavala and uh, i really got the transformation from there because i was not i was a nishachar like you know entire night i was i i could do that but early morning i was not a, i was not a early morning uh, wake up person and from gudakesha actually it has turned out because i used to have a very drain energy feeling and every morning i was uh, like a chidchida feel and it was not a good feel but since lonavala when i came and i implemented and i i uh, uh, i am doing the practice of guda kesha guda kesha the mornings of mine have been totally changed i feel so fresh i wake up early at the time i want to and i do not put any alarm i do like you know 3:30 morning or 4 o'clock or whatever the time i want to i do and uh, i simply entire day i feel you know though i am with a very hectic or restless but still i feel so fresh as i am so thank you to grand master sir pradeep sir and they take care of us like a family you know in 3 days of the workshop you enjoy like anything uh, everything the walking meditation the different different ways of meditation uh, we have learned from prabodh sir even the small small meditations how to be laughing by shiva uh, and uh, energy yoga so many things to do and so many things you can explore so thank you pradeep sir and thank you prabodh sir uh whoever can please go for it sorry for to get a long <laughs> thank you madam for that powerful sharing thank you tejal yeah. thank you so much yeah uh, i think next we had somebody who wanted to speak okay so on yeah thank you so much for that powerful sharing madam and uh, it's an invitation for everyone to be at the workshop who cannot be at the workshop please send your loved ones to the workshop yeah i think bharti ji you can uh, we can close the session now there's okay sir yeah thank you so much all of you for this opportunity thank you so much special thanks to pradeep sir we will clap once again for his sharing and uh, we will close this session thanking our pitamaha patri ji sir our grand master prabod master and to all the viewers thank you so much we will surely see you for the further wisdom sharing from tomorrow and meditation by our grand master prabod ji thank you so much thank you madam thank you and have a wonderful day and a good night to the people in the us <laughs> bye yes sir thank you so much